ke samaki mimi sikuwa na samaki nilikuwa namfuata tu namfuata tu nachotaka ni we namfuata tu wewe unapata mtu amekuja hapa amepata kazi lakini hata wewe irudi lakini wewe uko tu unapata mtu mwingine hapa alikuja akaolewa akawacha kukuja hata mlima hata kanisani lakini wewe bado unaendelea nachotaka ni we ni wewe tu wenye walipata mikati tunasikia namba ni 5000 nothing else we about them do you want to be like them endelea kufuata tu you are growing in wisdom you are growing in stature when the time comes for god to show you favor he will not be ashamed to launch you out because you know how to talk before kings you know how to au vile utagi ukesi yako you are bold enough you fear not for you know you have met the king of kings kibali one wangu yote wote hapa nimeandika ya kwamba obedience and submission create room for stature and favor that obedience and submission because Jesus obeyed and submitted to their parents therefore he created room for that favor for that wisdom sawa sawa kuna mtu tu akiongea na ndimu amefungua kanisa hmm Alaso anapo anasema kanisa ya Hore Ghost and fire. Lakini neno onge. Onge what? Onge grounding. Ukimwambia kitu tu amekaza mimi nimeachana na hiyo kanisa. Wananiambia nimevaa nguo mara mbili nimeachana. Anasema wewe ni mtoto. Chaguru. Hmm? Hata Peter alikuwa amefikiria amegro. Akamwambia mimi Yesu nitakufa na wewe siwezi kuacha wakati ilikuwa kurukuku siyo alikuwa eh mimi simujui <laughs> that man hapana mimi simujui kamwambia pita no problem you are growing una wewe mwenye unakimbia kimbia unajificha ficha wewe ndio holy ghost akikuangukia pita was the first one to come out don't you know don't you know it's like he, he has grown he has grown hallelujah yesu aliwatuma siku moja mara moja cha wakaenda toeni mapepo in, in my name wakatoa wakarudi wakisema hey, ile kitu tuliona Jesus akamuuliza ni nini tu unasema do Jesus mapepo sinafanya kwa kwa Yesu akawaambia msifurahie juu ya hiyo hiyo ni for example msifurahie juu ya hiyo furahieni ya kwamba majina yenu yameandikwa katika in another way is vitu hata kama mlifanya mlifanya in my name you are, you are not there you as what you have gotten that your name has been written walk your walk walk your salvation because there is a place you are heading. Hii hata hapa na Yesu akamwambia sasa relax hakuna sasa kutoa mapepo tuende tuende na mafundisho. Wewe uliendo kaombea mtu mmoja ukawa na pasta wako afai. Ukawa na I can heal. Ukaenda tu uka, uka, watu watatu wakaokoka. Ukaona you don't need to go to mlima anymore for what? They are get saved. Ni jina ulipewa si wewe. It is in the name of Jesus. It wasn't you. Kaa chini. Kuna watu wengine hapa they pray, 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 but you listen to their prayers. Hakuna word hata moja. Prayer yako nimeteseka. Baba nimeteseka. Ube nimeteseka. Siri ya majosi ya nimeteseka. Yesu nimeteseka kwa hapo tu hapo. And he's what I said the sort of the spirit is the word of the Lord. You don't read the word. You use the word in prayer to scatter. The word of the Lord says, I will rise. I will do. See ati hurururu. Hesabu Mungu yamejaa kwa tangi. Unataka tangi ngapi ndio unijibu? Ndio nilie ni malise unijibu. Hosa Mungu unataka nini? Unataka nilie aja. The sword of the spirit. So when you enter into the spiritual realm you are not empty you have a word a sword you attack car it is written he has called you said i am the head and not the tail the devil you are a liar you are under my feet i rule with christ unapigana vita vizuri vya imani si ile kilio ya obe mugongo mugongo yesu mugongo and what does the word of the lord says about mugongo the word of the lord is healing is like bread 
to his children. Do you know that? You will father give me my bread today. Give me my bread. Imwilipone. Nipe mkate wangu wa kila siku. Healing is part of it. If you don't know it, mutakuapa. I scatter. I scatter. I approach. I scatter with the word. Hallelujah. So, ndiyo gesu wakujo kuonewa kibari. I may grow. Na wisdom. Na stage. Pana yesu wa sefiwe. Tuenda Daniel. I'm telling you the things that nikiomba lea asubui mungu wa meneambia kitu hapa. So I'm declaring and I'm telling you the things that which are going to help you. Mukiske hivi tunawambia. Aki you will be helped. In the name of Jesus Christ. Daniel. Chapter 1. Shetani pia ni muonga. Verses 4 inasema. When they were captured to to Babylon, youths without blemish, of good appearance, and skillful in all wisdom, endowed with knowledge, understanding, learning, and competent to stand in the king's palace. Mesikia king ya nakuanga na qualifications. Hmm? Wakasema, mwana ojue nye mume kapucha mkaleta into Babylon. I want those people who are well looking. Hoga vizuri, vaa mafuta vizuri, tengeneza nyuri yako vizuri, vile unaonekana pia inamata before the king. Mbona mja sema amini? Devu pia anajua. Na we lazima ujue. Na we lazima ufanya nini? Ujue. Kile king anatakanga. Hata mungu atakangi. Timothy aliambiwa. Read the word of the Lord. Divide it correctly. That you may be approved before the Lord. Si kwa mtu mwingine. Si eti ni so many kue na mandiko na scriptures. Ndiyo ni kuja kukua approved before you. Ati yaki yako na sklimichas. Aki ya nazikata. Anazifungua. Anazifunua. To be approved before the Lord. Second Timothy 5 I think. And it 2.15. To be approved before the Lord. Then when you stand before the king of kings. And I say this is the learned one. This one has wisdom. You don't go at mungu nataka nini. Niambia tu maramoja. Kama mungu taka ni umba. Mbona uli ni umba. And I say this is a fool. We can't talk more. And I kutuma and I kuambia. Enda ukai chini ya mutumishi fulani. Walafu unafikiri ya mekutuma kwa umutumisha kweke pasta. Alikutuma uko ukae. Juwa naona vila unamu approach. You are not worthy to approach a king. Sorry. So, and to teach them the literature and knowledge of the Chaldeans. That's the kabira yenye likuwa Babylon. Sawa, sawa. The king assigned them a daily portion of food that the king ate and of the wine that he drank, they were to be educated for three three kama hata hawa wa dunia wataki kuchukua mtu hivi hivi ukiingia wakufundishe system zao hata mungu anataka ukikuja kwa kingdom yake ushike system bwana yesu asifiwe miaka mitatu and at the end of that time they were to stand before the king. Among this were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Of the tribe of who? Shetani ni muizi. Nanajua mahali penye naiba kutoka. Tribe of Judah, mahali penye Messiah natoka. Jesus came from the tribe of Judah. Sawa, sawa. So wakasema, ii tunataka. Ujue shetani anajua wewe ni nani? Wakati walishikuwa mateka, walisema nitafutia vijana wadogo. Wenye wakuedukated, wakona wisdom, wakona understanding, wakona knowledge. Si yetu, ile yao tu ni sawa. Lakini sasa hii yetu tutawaongezea. Because we know they have it. When God gives you something, you don't lose it. You only defile it. Mumenisikia? If God has given, kuna watu wakona spirit of understanding and wisdom. When the devil captured you, and you always take that one God has already given you. He gives you something that can corrupt and defile it. So, kasama nitafutie hao. Ni especially watoke tribe ya Judah. Ni Yesu anatafutwa kumalizu wa mapema. 
kile shetani anashika kwa maisha yako ni hatima yako ndani ya Kristo anataka kumaliza kuna mtu alisema shetani anataka kulipia ndege utoke hapo uende America ndio ukufe jua anajua ukikaa Kenya utasucceed watu wana kusponsor tu ndio utoke mahali pa positioning yako ndio ajue sasa you have no cover sasa anaweza kakunyolosa hallelujah Musa Saniri They were to be educated tunaitoa ikire Seven and the chief of the eunuch gave them names Daniel he is called Bet eh? Belteshazzar Hananiah he Shadrach Mishael Azara and akamuita Number five, number eight. But Daniel resolved that he will not defile himself with the king's food or with the wine that he drank. Therefore, he asked the chief of the eunuchs to allow him not to defile himself. Meskia, kuna huyu mtu anajua. Do not call to what? Tunasikia ng'a Shadrach, Meshach Daniel and ndio walipatikana wapi kwa moto si ndio unasikia Daniel yako hapo alijiridimu mapema <laughs> tunasoma kwa tunasema this man walikataa but at first hawakusimama kutetea ukweli so wakati shetani aliinuka kupiga walikamatika if you fear to say what god has called you to do When the devil comes after you, you might be found wanted. When you are in the side of God, you will be always be preserved. Amen. Daniel akufia. He was a man of wisdom. He knew how to approach the eunuch. Because wisdom also comes with boldness. You will ask but sijia ya madharau. Unajua this is a king anakuambia my king I can't don't please I can't defile myself I can't defile myself with the food of the king because he spoke of his god it wasn't about him and god delivered him skia next inasema hapo ndio nataka msome juu ndio Mungu ameward amenipatia And God gave Daniel and compassion in the sight of the chief of the eunuchs because wacha nikwambie watu wengine unaambia Mungu nipe kibali but you don't speak of what you believe about him Kibali ipewi watu waoga Sijawafurahisha Kibali ipewi ipewi watu waoga Daniel knew who he was. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Even though we have been captured into Babylon. Even though God has afflicted me, I will not leave him. Even though God has chastened me, I will not deny him. Usifurahi juu yangu. Ni yangu ka e ndugu yangu. Ni yangu kapo mimi nitasimama tena Even though we have been captured God is not against us Even though I am in Babylon still God is for me Even though I am afflicted I will not leave the Lord Sitasema Mungu umeniacha nikaenda Babylon because this man was like nimeona Mungu ni mkubwa Duniani ulisikia Mungu kama Waisraeli wapi ambaye anayefungua mtu watu wanapita ulisikia kama Mungu kama huyo wapi alikuwa anajua even though i have been found in this place siwezi mkataa Mungu wangu hata kama niko katikati ya maadui nitasimama kwa kile ambacho nimeamini kwa sababu ninamjua kuna mambo amenitendea hekima haiku nitendea dunia kuna mahali amenitoa Masomo yangu hayakunitoa. Kuna vitu amenitendea ambayo mwanadamu angeweza kunitendea. Kuna ugonjwa nilipona, madaktari walishindwa. Hata kama nimejipata hapa, 
sita mkana najua yuko kinyume nami hako pamoja nami Jeremiah akawaambia I know the plans God says he knows the plans he has for you not for to harm you but to bring out a hope and prosperous life so it's like even though I am in Babylon God is not against me it is not that he has given the devil a chance to defy the good work he began in me even in that chastenment there is something that which is about to come out wengine wenu kazikisha umerushia Mungu mikono ulisahau yeye ndiye alikuconnect pale mwanzoni wengine wenu ukigonjeka kidogo kichwa unasahau alikuponya mugongo <laughs> wengine wenu ukikosa chakula unasahau kuna wakati alikufunika ukikunywa strong na ulikuwa umenona tu Jua alikupatia nyama leo nimekosa unasema kama hakuna nyama wewe Mungu hayuko Mungu anakuambia mimi ni yule jana leo na milele what i did yesterday i can do it today and even tomorrow and every time god comes he takes us from one glory to another to another so when you are in this place god is telling you don't look around remember the things that i did to you remember how i preserved you in egypt you came out i led you with power even in babylon is a small matter i have been there before and how we came out it was majestically the whole world knew there is a god of israel even in this god you will be known even in this god you shall be glorified na ijulikane wewe ni mungu yule aliyekutoa egypt akaua miungu ya mafero wote akakujinjia mwana kondoo kwa damu yake ukakombolewa you were preserved ulikuwa wilderness viatu hazikuzeeka ulikuwa in the wilderness mavazi hayakusheka hakukuwa na nyumba wilderness hakukuwa na maji akakuwa maji kwako hakukuwa na nyumba akakuwa covering yako mbona unasahau anataka tena kujitukusa kukupitia wewe do not let your problem make you defile yourself even though he has afflicted me i will not deny him Mungu yule uliye ni mimi nilikuja kwa huu mlima nilikuwa na mkono inaniuma for go, five good years. Hii mkono singeweza kufanya hivi wala kufanya hivi. Ile uchungu ilikuwa inaniwasha kuniwasha. Nimekunywa madawa mpaka nikaenda kwa daktar nani? Mogire. The orthopedic. Wanapima hakuna kitu lakini unawashwa kama moto. Nilikuwa nakunywa dawa moja 100 every day. Wewe moja ni mingi. Bwana mnajifanya si mingi. Bila mnanyamaza mnakaa it like 100 tu. Niliomba nikakesha. Nikauliza Mungu nakumbuka kuna siku when I was fasting praying for my heart and God told me my grace is sufficient. Kaambia this is not what I came for papa. Hiringi. And when God told me that he opened my eyes nikaanza kuona hata kama nilikuwa na umo na hiyo mkono nilikuwa na saloon ninashuka ninaosha watu natengeneza pesa ndio God akaniuliza is it not my grace sufficient even though una umo are you not doing what you are not supposed to do have you not seen me in that situation kwa hiyo hali kabla nikuletea ukombozi if you don't see him in the wilderness even in canaan you won't He took them to the wilderness so that they may worship him. So that they may. Yani may it depends on how you see. It depends on how you see. God anasema I am doing a new thing. Can't you perceive it? Don't you see it? God anataka upime hiyo kitu. That they may worship me. Hallelujah. Nilikuja kwa hii mlima hata sasa ni hata nikaambia Mungu hata waite wagonjwa mbele sitawaienda. Alta kolstote nilienda. If you are here you are sick number 
Lift up your hands. Una lift back. Una lift back. Uski go straight into Mungu aone. Ni me lift. Alafu una talk up upon. When I came to this mountain, I was worshiping behind here. Mimi ni gundua ni lipona. I wouldn't pray for that hand. God is like una vitu zingine when you position. They align. Hallelujah. Ni lipona ni kasema ya. Aya. I can do this nimepona nimepona kuna watu wengine hapa kuna vitu mtafanywa mko kuja kuziombea hapa kuna mambo mtapata yamebadilika kwa maisha yenu useme hii kitu niliachana hata nayo Mungu ameifufua kutoka wapi is because i wanted you to align wewe umekuja kuombea kitu fulani wewe umekuja kuombea land hata ni mzuri si mbaya Kuna watu hapa mmekuja kuombea bwana wako apate kazi. Ni wewe utapata kazi. Kuna watu wenye wamekuja kuombea. Aya <laughs> ye. In fact I'm serious. Take me serious now. Kama mko mna take serious. Kuna mambo muliombea. Mpaka mkawachana nayo. Hizo vitu mkitoka hapa mutaanza kuziona zitaanza kuchipuka the king who sits on that thing who controls in that mountain from today they will never get rest until they call for the book of chronicles until you are put into their remembrance they will remember your name they will remember your application they will remember there is a lady i saw someone the time of favor has come. Is there anybody in the house of Jonathan that I may show them mercy? The time has come for God to put your name into their mind. They will call you. They will search for you because the favor of the Lord is upon your life. I have prophesied right there. Kama unangoja ni tetemeke. Tangoja sana. Rama sheke terebo. Kuna watu mkitoka kwa umulima, mutapata promotion. Mkitoka tu hapa, mutaito kwa, kwa office ya king. Kuna vitu ulifanya, zika kanyikiliwa chini, zinaenda kuchipuliwa. Kuna effort ulimake, mtu mwingine kachukua na fasi yako badala yako. You are going to take your place. The Haman who took your place, Mordecai, you are going to be remembered. The horses that were made for him, they are going to ride you on. For the time of favor has come. Esther, you can't work alone when Haman is the prince of princes. Mordecai must be lifted also. Mordecai must be remembered also. Because kuna place ya uta rule mpaka watu wengine wamefika mahali hapo. Watu wenye wanahitaji kukusaidia ni na wainua sasa. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. The people who need to give you support, support. I am calling them in the name of Jesus. From this mountain hear the word of the Lord. The time of our favor has come. May you not find rest wherever you are. Until we are put into your head. Rabo shake. Rekata raba koshete. Kuna vitu ulifanya mtu mwingine akachukua kazi yako. Ninawafuta leo. In the name of Jesus. The work that you have done the Bible tells us our God cannot be mocked. God will reward you over your faithfulness. God will lift you because the favor has come. What you have been going through was just creating a space in you. What you have been going through was just only making you wise. The time has come for favor. Not only with God but with man. Hallelujah! That whatever you will ask, you shall be granted. Your words will find favor. Ha 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 ha! Kuna mahali you don't qualify. Ukingia because you belong to the Lord. And the Lord is moving on earth. Hey! As you speak. 
Kuna vitu siwezi wambia hapa juu sijui mmeerefuka aje. I was told when I was there. Mm, sijui ekima yenu imefika wapi. Ni kuachane na nyinyi. But I'm telling you those who stand by the truth. Those who have not defiled themselves. Those who have not bowed to Baal. God has been hiding the seventh prophet somewhere. Umejificha au julikani uko hapa but it because ulikataa kuabudu miungu mingine. Your time has come. Your time has come. Wenye wako wanakujua watakujua. Wakati wa bali umefika mwisho ni wakati wana waisraeli wachukue land yao. Hallelujah. Nina teketeza hizo nguvu. Mungu ataabudiwa in Israel. Jezebel, mwisho wako umefika. Utakulwa na ndege wa ngani ya Sabal? Mwisho wako na kutangazia umefika kwa sababu huu ni mwaka wa Bwana. Mwaka wa kibali umefika. The time of favor is now. Arise or oh, arise children of God for the Lord has shown you favor. Your time to be remembered is here. Ulikataa kukula nyama kwa sababu ulijua Mungu wako ni zaidi ya nyama. Ulikataa kukula chakula ya kinga kwa sababu ulijua yupo Mungu unayemwabudu wakati wako umefika. Tumekuwa tukisifu Mesha Kshadra kan Medinego. But hawakupata chance ya kuongea ukweli. Wakarushwa kwa moto. Daniel akupatikana mahali. Walijaribu kumuhusika. Akasema I will not bow down. Daniel alisimama, I am young. I may not know how to talk, but I can't hit your foot. I can't defile myself. I have been set apart for something special, greater than this. Kings come and kings go, but there is a king of kings who reigns forever. Akuchaguliwa na mtu anatawala kwa haki. Ameinuliwa juu. Nina umenyimwa chakula. Kuna mahali pengine kwa sababu Mungu alikutenga, alifunga milango. Si shetani. Ni Mungu alifunga kwa sababu ya kile kitu aliweka ndani yako. God doesn't you to, doesn't want you to be defiled. Hallelujah. Mwenye wewe si Babylonian lakini ukaivatikana you are a virgin you qualify you are not a daughter in the land you are not known your nationality is a secret but because you did not defile yourself because you have kept yourself pure now you are a virgin wakati wako umefika when god is looking for people to favor He will favor those that he said is set, set apart. Unashindwa Mungu mbona mimi sijaolewa? You are set apart. For a time like this. Unashindwa mbona wanaume hawakukatii? Siti hauna sura. Umefichwa wakati wa kibali umefika. Wengine wangekukatia, wangekumaliza, wangekuwa wamekuzalisha, umebaki hapo. Mungu si rejection God was covering you from mbumbu wa mwitu ndiye akutengeneze you grow in stature you grow in wisdom when favor comes you will be remembered because he's looking for virgins na kwa sababu ya hii neno kuna wengine mlijidefy na watangazia kutakazika Unaangalia you are not a virgin kwa sababu you have given yourself to anything that satisfies. But because of favor. Because of the favor of the Lord. Peter defiled himself. Peter denied the Lord. Peter went back to fishing. But the Lord remembered him. And the Lord says you didn't choose me. I chose you. You are my responsibility. I have power to clean you. I will wash you by my word. And by this word I call you sanctified. And Jesus prayed and said, "Father, sanctify them by your word. Sanctify them by your word. I declare you in the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ sanctified, fit for the favor, fit for the work ahead, fit for the call of the Lord, fit for the purposes of God.